Hi, everybody. Kent Martz here from Explore Scientific. I think you're looking at a live shot. Nope, we're not. We're looking at me. I thought we had a live shot queued up. So uh, we're going to be talking about weather today because let's go to that live shot right there. Look at that. That right there is just outside of our building on I-49 here in Northwest Arkansas. We've had some winter weather wonderland fun. They said it's snow. It'll be fun, they said. Actually, it is fun. I love the snow. But weather is an important part of our, li our lives. And so I thought I would uh, have today's show on weather products. So the first product we're going to talk about is the large display weather station with temperature and humidity. Uh, this is a great product. As you can see right here, it's got, and this one's live. It's got a forecast on it. There we go. So this is the sensor and the sensor is uh, white and this is black explaining for the lights have come on so they're heating up at different times. Uh, so it's 69 or 70 degrees in here and it's sunny just like the forecast shows and it's gonna be sunny for the next weekend. Uh, this has a remote sensor that works up to 100 feet away, collects data to forecast for the next 24 hours, uh, has an ice alert function uh, it sets the time through a radio signal uh, that the federal government puts out. It has an alarm snooze button and check out that. Is that down on, uh, where's that, Paul? Looks like it's uh, is, in Bella Vista. That is up at Pea Ridge, yeah. I think. No, it's Bella Vista. Bella Vista? Yeah, it's Bella Vista, New Bella Vista Bypass. They got a significantly much more, much more snow than we did here in Springdale. They're about 15, 20 miles north of us. They got 10, 12 inches of snow in places up there, not drift, but true accumulation. Uh, this unit supports up to three of these sensors. You have to buy two of them. It comes with one. And these sensors, uh, so you can put one in your kid's room or out in the garage or, you know, the well house to see how cold everything is. You know, well houses are important. My son uh, has a well and he monitors the temperature in there so that if it starts getting too cold, he goes out and turns on the heater so the well house doesn't free up, freeze up because he likes to have water. This is a plug and play uh, situation, no additional setup, real simple to use. The large weather station uh, temperature and humidity sensor uh, from Explore Scientific. Now we're gonna shift up a little bit to the radio weather station with multiple sensors. This unit right here, let me make it stand up. up. Huh? Tearing everything up. Let me, I'm not tearing anything up. <laughs> I'm careful with the boxes when I open them. So oh, let's see, send these up. As you can see, it comes with three sensors and a nice stand up display. This is a white version. Uh, let me tip this forward so you can see. There, there you go. go. So I have not uh, removed the peel and stick on this one. I didn't put batteries in it. Uh, functions include uh, weather forecast for the next 24 hours uh, in the form of symbols and measurements of outdoor and indoor temperature and humidity. Again, time synchronization uh, through radio controlled weather uh, signal. Has a nice backlight function that's great for reading the uh, values in the dark. It comes with these three additional sensors right here. It does indoor and outdoor temperature, uh, indoor and outdoor humidity, date, time, and it has an alarm function. Uh, radio controlled, as I said, or you can set the time manually if you want to on the unit. An alarm clock with snooze function, a wall mount, uh, it'll or a you. leg. It'll help you figure out the uh, the uh, forecast. forecast. Yeah, it has forecast. So think, you, how does it do that? How do you use look, it to do that? You can mount it here on the wall or That's... use the stand-up leg. How does it forecast the weather? It looks at the barometric pressure and temperature variations uh, and calculates the weather based on the uh, humidity, temperature, and changing barometric pressure. The higher the barometric pressure goes indicates we're coming into a high pressure system, which means that we're gonna have nice weather. As the pressure gets lower, low systems produce storms. Uh, low, low pressure produces hurricanes and tornadoes. So, uh, is it, so uh, it tells me all that? It tells you, if you can read, it tells you all that. It oh does, doesn't have a voice, but it does tell you all that. This is a great little package right here. Very inexpensive. Uh, you can pick it up, uh, you know, 
places around. Again, this is the radio weather station with multiple sensors, three sensors, forecasts the weather, does a bunch of great other stuff, tells time, temperature, humidity, things like that. Gonna move along to the next item, which is also a weather device. This is the wireless rain gauge with outdoor temperature. So it is a rain gauge and the base station right here and it, this has the sticker on it. This is pretty cool. Uh, the rain gauge measure, measures the amount of precipitation, rain that you have. Uh, it is not a snow gauge because you need to measure how much snow there is by using a ruler. But if you want to measure how much water is in that snow, you can take a measured amount and then warm it up till it turns to water and then you find out how much rain you would have had had it uh, not been cold enough. And this snow we have here is very dry, very fluffy snow, so not a whole lot of precipitation in this snow, but a large volume of snow. So uh, outdoor unit sends the information to the indoor unit so you can tell how much rain you're getting. Uh, you can set alarms, so if it has a uh, total rainfall reaches the value you set, it sets off an alarm for you. Uh, time is a 12-hour, 24-hour function, has a great LCD uh, display, operates on three AA batteries, not included. So if you're wondering how a rain gauge works, I'm going to take this little top off and show you the inside of it. And what happens here is, as it rains, this little thing right here, flips back and forth, it's a rocker arm. That side fills up, this this side right here will fill up with rain, and the rain will make it tip over because it gets heavy, then this, and that that's a one one hundredth of an inch, and then it flips over, that's another hundredth of an inch, and as this little rocker arm moves back and forth, it counts hundreds of inches of rain, and voila, it tells you how much rain. So this is a simple math function, really, known area, going through this little wee bitty hole right here and drops the moisture, the precipitation into one of these two little rockers and it measures the rain that falls in your yard. It's always very, cool. Very cool. helpful if you have like a garden or something garden like that. Garden, it's just, you know, I just like to know, I know people that don't have gardens, they just track yeah, how much rain. If you, if you have a garden, Right. If you have a garden, you need to know how much water to put on it or how yeah. much water to not put on it. That's correct. If you get enough because, you know, when your tomatoes start getting ripe, you want them to have steady water because if they get a sudden massive deluge of water, they can, and they haven't been getting much water, they can swell and pop and then you have ruined tornadoes. And looks like traffic is moving pretty good. Seeing the big screen up there, looks like traffic they is moving pretty good. I know. Well, yes, they can. Now they can. There you go. If you click the right button, well, it was a. Uh, well, if you tell me ahead of time, took my daughter to work this morning. Helpful. Took my daughter to work this morning where she works, and uh, it was an easy drive up the interstate. It was still icy, so but uh, I've, uh I've, everybody drive. on Facebook needs to get together and tell Kent to take me out to the Holiday Island where my girlfriend lives. Just yeah. send him messages. Tell him he needs to do that for me. I drive a Mustang. I can't and, get out in there. And, and here's the deal for, for for him. I suggest he buys a four-wheel drive Mustang. That'll solve the problem. So, this uh, is... Wait a minute. This is the 5 they have one. a four-wheel drive Mustang? Sure. You can buy a four-wheel drive, you know, S10 and put a Mustang body on it. And then you have a four-wheel drive Mustang. No, no. Then you have a... Four-wheel drive piece of junk. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I'm not yes. going to try and hold this up right now. Well, let's start. <laughs> let's start with the you weather. Plug it in. This right here is the five-in-one weather station from Explore Scientific. Has an anemometer, wind speed indicator. Has a wind speed indicator. Has a direction indicator. Has a thermometer built in. Comes with a bubble level. You want to get this thing level, just like the other rain gauge, for it to work correctly. It has to be level has the same sort of device inside that flips back and forth, back and forth. It can be mounted on this stake right here so that you can then mount it on a wall. Right? You can mount this on a wall of your house, either your house, up on somewhere high with no trees around so you get a good measurement. So the weather gauge uh, is five and one, synchronizes with your internet services for time. 
Uh, it gets all sorts of weather data at your fingertips. It includes mounting standard wire harness, bubble level, measures rainfall, wind speed, so it measures rainfall, wind speed, render, wind direction in 360 degrees, uh, temperature and humidity. So that, those are the five functions that this has. Has a, the sensor array, connects wirelessly to your indoor base station, and that's what this is right here. That's the indoor base station. The indoor base station uh, has a great color LCD screen that uh, also allows you to connect the base station to the internet. So all of that information, if you want to contribute to citizen science, you can send it out to Weather Cloud or Weather Underground and participate in citizen science through what's going on at your specific location where these are. So uh, this goes into a whole lot of detail. I'm going to flip over Got a bunch of pages here. Moon phase, time and date, Cheater. outdoor temperature and humidity. Cheater. I got you. There's too much to, too much here. And we don't have one of them fancy smancy <laughs> teleprompters <laughs> or an earwig where he can one, talk to you me. Just, you have to tell me when you want to use it. That uh, cough tells me. The last time I was on, for those of you who might have been watching, you know, I had a uh, coughing fit and a tickle in my throat and uh, uh, got COVID. a couple of expressions of COVID. concern from people, and I appreciate those concerns. I did take a COVID test, and I came back negative. I just have a good old generic cough. Uh, <laughs> bar barometer and wind speed direction, speed information, rainfall and rain date and rain rate, weather forecast, sunny, partly cloudy, cloudy, rainy, stormy, and snowy. Snowy would have been really important on here last couple of days. Yeah. Indoor temperature and humidity, outdoor temperature and humidity uh, has a comfort indicator, uh, the feels like temperature, the heat index, the wind chill factor, and dew point as determined by the temperature and humidity. That's the control of what the dew point is. Uh, let's see, has the forecast for the next 24 hours. We talked about that. A LCD screen with a contrast adjustment to make it easy for you and easy on the eyes. Uh, displays time calendar, weekday and moon phase buzzer alarm. Buzzer alarm, so you can use this as an alarm clock if you want to. Uh, icy conditions warning, a big old ice crystal shows up if the temperature gets low enough. Uh, gust, average wind speed, real time and dominant direction in 360 degrees we, we talked about. Weather forecast, uh, this is doubling up. I didn't edit this real well. Anyway. It doesn't matter. This is a we, great, we, great the device. Next one? We've got one that does. This is a better, great right? device, but the next one's better. The next one is 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 more gooder, as my better. as my grandkids say. It's more gooder. Better. Otherwise known as better. This is the fantastic seven in one weather station. This. It's a serious all-in we weather station. There. This is pro level. Get this set up right here. Get this out of the way. This is a this minutes. is a professional weather station right here. Seven to one. Weather sensor array, rainfall, wind speed, wind direction, temperature, humidity, and what are the other two? Back here in the back. There we go. It uh, forecasts UV or shows UV and solar radiation. This is also solar powered, so uh, the batteries you have to put in here last a whole, whole lot longer. It does all the other stuff the other one does, as well as does the forecast for the UV and solar radiation rain gauge, anemometer, wind speed indicator. Anemometer? An an anemometer, an anemometer. And you can see this really large display has circles for wind speed, and all the other things. This is a fantastic, trying to get so you can see it. I need to power this up so you can see what it looks okay. like. But this is a fantastic device. If you're really into weather or know somebody is, this right here is what you want. So we're gonna wrap the forecast, the uh, broadcast up. Appreciate you joining us here on Facebook for our live broadcast. Lots of great products from Explore Scientific Facebook. to come. We will see you next week for Explore Scientific right here on Facebook. Hey, I'm, hey, Chox. Good yes, to see Mark. you. Anybody else? No.
Nope, nobody else to do the tell shots. Him, tell him to take me to my girlfriend's house. Yeah, Chalks would have to drive here from uh, United Kingdom to do that for you. I'm sure he would appreciate that. You paying his trip over here. <laughs> and the freight on his car. I'm out of here. Kent Martz with Explore Scientific. The disembodied voice is Paul Newton, <laughs> our graphics guy. Um, director. Uh, director, graphics. Uh, everything. Everything. Uh, technical wizardry with cameras and stuff like that. See y'all next Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody.